Peter Abiel was selected to be one of Technology Review's 2011 Top 35 Innovators Under 35 because of his work in creating apprentice robots, that is, robots that can learn generally how to do a task by watching a human demonstrate it and then figuring out the precise details for themselves during their own attempt. Because apprentice robots don't have to be explicitly programmed for every task, they could be used for a wider range of jobs than robots can perform today. I've always been very interested in understanding kind of how everything in the world works. Um, it was initially not particularly robotics or computer science, but just anything, uh, physics, math, um, engineering, and so forth. And I got particularly interested in robotics and computer science because I think we can see, we can see ourselves make a lot of progress in the next 10, 20 years in that area. Apprentice robots are robots that will observe a uh, human perform a task often a task that's really hard to program into the robot, but the apprentice robot will rather need to be programmed to perform a task, will watch a human perform a task, and from watching perform the, the human perform the task, it'll understand how it can do that same task itself. What we're doing with Bread is very different from what's been done before in a lot of robotic applications, in that traditionally robots are used in manufacturing, and in manufacturing, you program a robot to perform the same task repeatedly and very efficiently. When a robot's asked to fold a towel, the big challenge is that the towel is not going to appear the same way for the robot at any given time. It'll always appear a little differently. So to get the robot to fold towels, you need to give it an understanding of what it's seeing. And once it knows what it's looking at and understands in what configuration it is, it needs to understand how to manipulate it to get it into the shape it wants to get it into. So the robot both, we programmed it both with a perception mechanism to understand what it's looking at and with a planning and simulation mechanism such that it can, in its head, simulate what would happen if it were to move certain parts of the towel around. And based on that, it can plan ahead and decide what it should do to achieve the goal. When the robot starts out, the, there is a towel just crumpled on the table. And the robot will use its cameras to find where the towel is. And at that point, it'll just pick up the towel. And it'll then drag it over the table. And what that does is it spreads out the towel a little bit. And at that point, it'll grab the trailing point of the towel. And it'll repeat that a couple of times. And what that does is it ensures that once the robot's done with this part of the procedure, it's holding two points of the towel that are very far apart. So typically, it'll hold two points that are diagonally across on the towel. Once it's done that, it's, the towel's in a configuration that's partially known, and so the robot will hold up the towel in this partially known configuration, inspect it, and realize that it's holding the towel by two diagonally across corners, and put it down and fully spread it out. Once it's fully spread it out, it'll measure the size of the towel, and based on that, it can decide what the right folding motions are. So then it'll re-pick it up and go through a sequence of folding motions that are based on the size of the towel, and also based on whenever it's made a fold, it'll re-inspect exactly how well it succeeded and adjust its next fold based on that. The whole idea behind the apprentices robots is that if we can develop this framework more fully where you can just show a robot how you want something done and it can learn from that, you could start putting robots in environments they've never been before. 